I'm Jamaluddin Takuma. I'm in Philadelphia. I'm at the Red Carpet Room, and I'm so excited to be with you at your home this afternoon or evening or whatever the part of the world that you're in right now. We are trying our best to do our best to try to provide for you some type of healing during this time of COVID-19. You know, there's musicians all around the world who are not doing so well because of this, and people are out of work, and people are yearning and desiring to see something, to be a part of something. And what we try to do here in Philadelphia is try to provide for you that one thing, if not out of many, but at least one thing that will bring joy and happiness to you. The Outsiders Improvising Creative Music Festival 2020, as a result of COVID-19, we've decided to do our clean sweep sessions here at the Red Carpet Room, inviting musicians from around the world to join us in collaborative ideas and concepts and bring the entertainment that the Outsiders Festival is used to bringing to you. Tonight we have a very special array of entertainment for you, one being with my very famous friend from Vienna, Austria. His name is Wolfgang Pischnick, a saxophonist. And together we did a project some years ago with a arranger and producer from Vienna, Austria named Pauli Urbanik. And he has a, com he has a, a, a concept called Recomposing. And a video was done with that, and we're going to show that tonight as well. We're going to have a really special collaborative effort concept with two other good friends of mine. One is a guitarist from the Screaming Headless Torsos, Dave Fusinski, and the other is a drummer percussionist named Billy Martin from Medesky, Martin & Wood. And it's going to even get even better than that. Later on in the show, I'm going to segue into a solo for you guys on a piece that I've never performed before. Uh, entitled The Bird of Paradise, which I think is very soothing for you. And after that, we're going to get into some red carpet room goodies. And we are going to talk about fashion from the 1930s and 1940s. You guys, feel free to donate to us to help support our Outsiders Festival, and we hope that we're able to do more for you in the future. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you. 
supporting because this music is so important. On it said, forget the notes and get to the idea. A lot of times musicians, they get hung up on sort of cookie cutter concepts of the music. When, when you think about improvisation, you, you're always thinking about something that happens sort of, it's natural, it's organic, but it's not one thing after the other, one thing after the other, because that's not how life is. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm at one of the most perfect parts of the show when I get to talk about the red carpet room. Here at the red carpet room, I cater to men's fashion and style and guys come up here and we have a great time. Everybody knows that I'm into style, design and fashion and it's one thing that is for sure and that is music, style and design goes together. Some of you might think that it don't, but it does. And you can see that every day in your life. We're going to right now venture off into some of the early designs and fashion that men of the jazz age wore and how it influenced street style. Oh yeah, that was a special time when folks took their personal style seriously. We had Satchmo blowing his horn, sharp as a tack. Let's talk about Duke. Duke was serious about his wardrobe. Look at that hat, killing, absolutely stunning. Yeah, the brothers wore their hats. Ace Deuce cocked to the side. See the brothers? A band had to be sharp, even then. Every day, every night, on the gig, doing it right, every day. There's Duke, look at the band. Clean as a whistle, shucks. Horse high leather jackets, $5.99, going for 700 now. Look at those brothers hanging out, chilling. Shawl collar sweater. You had to have your tuxedo if you were going out at night. Brothers, please. Y'all killing them on the low. Boater hat? Hamburg hat? Come on. Sharp as a tack. Look at these guys, clean as a whistle. There they go, the brothers too, doing it for you. Getting down, getting down. There's those leather jackets again. So expensive now, horse high. I dig that 1940s vibe, wide lapel. And then if you had to chill, Chill with a sweater. The monocle. Come on, that's just distinctive. Norfolk jackets, button back jackets, belted jackets, Hamburg hats. So much style. Then you had the cats who just did their thing because it was right to do their thing. Mr. B, taking it to the top. Look at that collar, killing. Then you had old blue eyes with that bow tie. The Diz, he was the whiz. Forties, 
1940s, 40s, 1940s. There he is, cab, zoot suit, 1940s. That zoot suit, wide collar, came back in style. Malcolm knew. Look how that hat is tipped. Such flavor. Such attitude. Come on. The brother's doing their thing. Just chilling. Hat flipped up to the front. Come on. There's that zoot suit again. Young brother in the zoot suit trying to see what's going on at the Savoy. Neckties galore. 1940s neckties to be exact. Musicians always took the lead. Bold colors, abstract colors. And the Diz, the Wiz once again. Horn rim glasses, beret, Schoolboys, the Diz. Moving up to the 1950s, late 1950s. Look at those glasses. And then you had Bird, Miles. Who said trends? Bird, look at that necktie. That was the music. The musicians that influenced the street. If you guys would like to make a donation, go to www.jamaladeenmusic.com. Again, that's www.jamaladeenmusic.com. I sure would like to be there live with you guys, but if this is the best way that we can get together, I'll take that. Most importantly, you guys out there be safe with family, love one another, and hopefully we'll see each other soon. Until the next episode, peace. Thank <laughs> you.